everyone, it's Rhiannon here and I'm here to talk to you about another excellent book. So I'm actually going to talk about two books today. Um, if you haven't already guessed from the posters behind me, they are the two books in the Stormkeeper's Island series by Catherine Doyle. These are like the perfect summer books, so good for summer holiday, summer reading, they just fill you with that brilliant sense of adventure. So the first book in the series is The Stormkeeper's Island, which came out last year. Um, it was a Waterstones book of the month, so you might recognise it. And the second one is The Lost Tide Warriors that has just come out this week, and it is such a good follow-up. It's very shiny and green. <laughs> I kind of feel like Elphaba. <laughs> I got sent Lost Tide Warriors by Bloomsbury, who also sent me these really funky posters um, in exchange for my honest opinion, but as always, I absolutely adored it. There was no way I was not going to read this sequel. Stormkeeper's Island was one of my standout books of last year, so I was dying to get my hands on the sequel. So I'm going to kind of talk about both books, but I'm not going to spoil what happens in Stormkeeper's Island, don't worry. So you can watch this video even if you haven't read either of them. One thing to say is this book is set in Ireland and lots of Irish names and I just really want to apologise in advance if I pronounce anything wrong, which I feel like I probably will. So the premise of the book is two siblings, uh, Fionn and Tara, are sent to go stay with their grandfather because their mum has to go to hospital um, and he lives on this island off the coast of Ireland called Aranmore that is just full of magic and secrets. And you follow Fionn as he learns all about this island. His dynamic with Tara is very, very funny. She's a few years older than him and she was at the island last year. So Fionn finds out about all the magic and she's like, yeah, I already knew that. Like, that's old news. Um, and it was a really interesting way to tell a 9 to 12 adventure story. Because with most of the ones I've read, the magic's revealed to the protagonist and no one else. And he tries to keep it hidden from everyone. But in this, it's literally like everyone else on the island knows way more than Fionn and he's just scrambling to catch up. So when Fionn gets to his grandfather's house he notices something strange about it in that the entire house is covered in candles of all shapes, sizes and colours and they've all got labels on them with different things like Low Tide 1952 or Aurora Borealis or Winnie's Moonbow. You find out pretty early on that every time you burn a candle you're transported into a memory from the island and the island itself is just brimming with magic and almost as its own character in a way. Uh, Doyle kind of writes it with a personality and you start learning sort of secrets about the island and its mysterious beginnings and maybe a battle that once occurred between good and evil that might not be over. So that part of it which is just gorgeous magic and adventure. Um, and then there's another really tender side to the book as well. The reason Fionn and Tara have come to the island is because their mum has basically had a breakdown and has had to go to hospital. One of the reasons their mum is so upset and the reason that Fionn has never been to the island before is because their dad died before Fionn was even born and he drowned trying to save someone and as soon as he died their mum just never wanted to return to the island. She moved to Dublin and tried to forget about it. And then another thing is that their grandfather is suffering from bouts of forgetfulness and whilst these passages are quite hard to read they're very relatable if you've ever known a grandparent to go through it and I kind of wish I'd had something like this to read when I was younger. I think it really portrays it in a very sensitive way and helps you understand what's going on basically. The relationship between Fionn and his grandfather is also really really beautifully portrayed. His grandfather is one of my favourite characters. He can go from being like incredibly wise and meaningful and deep to cracking like the worst joke you've ever heard in the space of three sentences. So as you can probably tell uh, I love these books a lot. <laughs> um, if you follow me on Twitter I've been like tweeting about them non-stop for the past week. It's one of those book series where you just want to read and read and read and read and read and you literally can't put it down. I found myself like speeding through it and then had to like stop and like read it more slowly so I could take it in because Doyle's language is absolutely breathtaking and you kind of want to stop and appreciate it. I'd really really recommend them. For kids it's like a perfect summer adventure story but I think you know for maybe like grown-up fans of Harry Potter who are trying to refine that magic like that I kind of felt that when I read these books. There's something in them for everyone and there's going to be more in this series. I absolutely cannot wait for the rest of them. Thanks for watching everyone. Uh, I hope I managed to persuade you to pick up these two excellent books um, and I hope you're all having a lovely summer.